We certainly see a great belt tightening happen in the Southeast Asia tech industry right now. And there are three things that come to mind when we think about this and what we see on the ground. The first is that not all markets and not all roles are affected equally. What we see is that in certain markets, such as Singapore, which are a lot more connected to the global markets and where a lot of companies based at regional headquarters, the companies have actually adapted very quickly. They have taken decisive cuts and we have really seen layoffs happening in the markets here. In some other markets, such as Indonesia as well, where there's been so much capital and investments pouring to the markets over the past few years, there has really been corrections, major corrections happening on the ground. In some other markets, such as Vietnam or Philippines, though, for example, we haven't really seen that many layoffs yet so far. So what we see is that not all markets have been affected equally so far. Um, the second thing that we see is strong tech talent, uh, especially in fields such as engineering, product, continues to be very much in high demand. On Glimpse, for example, we actually see the demand for tech talent continues to increase by over two and a half times year on year from July last year, 2021, to July this year, in July 2022. Um, the third thing that we see on the ground is that there is a silver lining in all of this. It is not all doom and gloom. We're actually coming out of the pandemic. A lot of companies and talent in Southeast Asia have proven themselves to be really resilient. And one way they have been adapting so far is by having a remote workforce, by having a borderless workforce. And we see companies doing that right now as well, as they think about how they can adapt to the new economic conditions. Companies in Singapore, for example, are building up their teams in markets like Vietnam and Indonesia in a bit to save costs while getting, still getting the work done. It is a bit of a far cry from the conversations we were having only four to six months ago, uh, which is, as you just pointed out, that, that te tech talent is actually still in pretty high demand. I mean, find a lot of the companies in, in Singapore, uh, as much as anywhere else, are complaining that they cannot get access to good talent. It just it seems as if uh, there isn't enough out there. So it seems sort of somewhat contradictory to say that we're losing, we're losing tech talent, whereas we're actually still very much in need of it. Exactly. I think what we see on the ground is that not all roles are affected equally when we talk about belt tightening on the ground in Southeast Asia. And we see the roles that are most affected so far tend to be the more, more non-revenue generating and non-R&D roles. Certain roles such as marketing, operations, and HR tend to be more highly affected. Now, roles such as the ones in the product teams, in the engineering teams, continue to not really be affected. In fact, what we see is that companies continue to hire talent in large drives, especially in the product engineering fields.